Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna do a quick unboxing of the OnePlus 6T. Now, just in case you didn't know, the T stands for trouble. Companies like Google putting out these phones with four gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of storage and charging a thousand bucks, y'all in trouble. Now this phone will be available in North America starting November 1st and in Europe starting November 6th. You can pick it up from OnePlus.com or for the first time, you can pick this up in the T-Mobile stores. Now let's talk about the specs and we'll start off with the most important spec, the spec that's causing a lot of trouble for these companies, the price. Pay attention. The OnePlus 6T starts with six gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of storage for 550 bucks. Let that sink in. That's already more RAM and more storage than the Pixel for half the price. Now you also got eight gigs of RAM with 128 gigs of storage for 580 bucks. And you got the big boy, eight gigs of RAM with 256 gigs worth of storage for 630 bucks. That is a major, major, major go. And as Bob Barker would say, the price is right. Think about it like this. For the price of this Pixel, you could get a OnePlus 12T T. All right, that's two OnePlus 6Ts, his and hers. Now the phone comes in two different colors. You got midnight black or mirror black. For the display, you got a 6.41 inch AMOLED panel with a resolution of 1080 by 2340. That's 402 for the PPI Patrol. Now the phone comes with Android 9.0 stock, Android VIP. Y'all call it Pi, but y'all know it's VIP. Now you also have a micro SD card slot for expandable memory up to 256 gigs, and this phone does feature dual SIM slots. Now for the battery, you got a non-removable 3,700 milliamp battery that features fast charge. For the camera on the rear, you got a dual setup one is 20 megapixels, one is 16 megapixels. On the front, you got a 20 megapixel selfie camera. Now you also have a new feature, it's called screen unlock. Basically, that's the in-screen fingerprint sensor innovation on deck. You also got face unlock, the fastest in the game. So to sum that up, basically what's new, screen unlock, all right, that's the in-screen fingerprint sensor, Android VIP, you got a bigger battery, you also got night shot mode on the camera. We'll talk about that in a minute. And you have smart boost. So basically, if you, if you like the game on your phone, smart boost, you're going to like that. So what's missing? No IP rating. All right, so the phone is not water resistant. Now, on a side note, I know somebody's going to say, oh, I seen a video where somebody dropped a OnePlus 6 in the toilet and it still worked. They got lucky. The phone is not IP rated. So drop it in the water at your own peril. No dual speakers. No wireless charge and no headphone jack. All right, now shout out to OnePlus 6. Uh, I don't know why y'all got rid of the headphone jack, but it is what it is. They got rid of the headphone jack, but they also got rid of that notch, all right? Shout out to the notch gang. Y'all gonna be disappointed, no notch on deck. All right, so here we go, let's get into this. Now I was letting that hype build up. This is our reviewer unit, shout out to OnePlus 6. This is not the retail packing. Now one thing I will say about OnePlus, they got one of the best presentations in the game, and if you don't believe me, Check this out. This is the invitation to the launch event. Look at this. Now, basically what this is, a little puzzle. You put it together, you put it in all these stands, you shine the light through it, and you get this cool effect. This is just an invitation. Look at that presentation. This invitation looks better than some phones, straight up presentations. Here we go, shout out to White Shoes, back in the building. One plus six, T. Let's see what you get inside. Now this is, Specifically for me, y'all know I got OCD. This looks like a one plus six microfiber cleaning cloth. Rock. Let's see what it is. Microfiber cleaning cloth, one plus style. I gotta do the smell test. Woo! Zerk, smell that. Quality. Let's see what else you get. Now this looks like your accessories. Alright, so we got a bunch of cases. We'll go through those in a minute. You got your new one plus six. USB Type-C headphones. We'll check those out in a minute. Little piece of foam. But this is what y'all came to see. OnePlus 6T. All right, I don't want to scare shoes off the table, so we're doing this slow. OnePlus Community. All right, white and red presentation. This is 128 gigs. Let me grab the little unboxing knife. Shout out to Spider-Man back in the building. Here we go. 
Wow. Try not to give shoes a haircut. Here we go. Never settle. Okay, so got a little band. This is new right here. Here we go. Shoes knows quality when she sees it. Look how patient she waiting to see this. One plus six T, trouble. Here we go. Now check this out. On screen fingerprint sensor. Rah. Little plastic right here. Rah. Let's power this up real quick. So you can see that no notch. I don't know if y'all can see that. Wait till the screen comes up. Here's your vibrate on and off switch. Power button. Volume up and down. There's your SIM tray. USB Type-C, 20 megapixel camera in the front, dual cameras on the back. Let's peel this off. Shoes, calm down. <laughs> All right. Beautiful. Oh, uh, check this out. Look at this now. That's how you do it. No notch on deck. Now, shout out to everybody that watched my videos. Y'all remember the Essential phone, or as I called it, the Essential trash? The only thing I liked about that phone was that little cutout around the camera. That was the only thing I liked about that display. Now we got it on the one plus six T. Minimum chin, negative forehead, Google, y'all in trouble. All right, let's keep it moving. Let's see what else you get inside the box. Let's open this up. Now you do get a case. All right, I, I like that. Let's see what we got. All right, so we got the smoked out case, transparent style. Let's see what this is. Okay. Some ejection tool, usual books and shit, and of course, your OnePlus Troll stickers. Pluck them, file them to the side. Okay, that's about it for that. Let's see what else we got. Okay, invitation letter, file that. Now, one of my favorite things about OnePlus phones, the USB Type-C cable. If y'all notice, you always see these cables laying around on my table. I use them for everything but the phone. I just love how they look. And they got the cable management clips. Beautiful. Let's see. Now, this is something new since there's no headphone jack. You got a dongle. Now, this is a nice touch. If you're going to do the dongle, do it red and white. All right, OnePlus, attention to details. I love it. Here's your fast charging brick. All right, Apple. You see what this is? Fast charging brick. Not sold separately in the box. All right, somebody tweet this video to Apple and tell them, put the fast charging brick in the box. All right, back to the phone itself. Woo. Fresh out of the box, I gotta say, feels good in the hands. Ladies, you know the procedures. Here's your OnePlus 6 versus your OnePlus 6T. What's the difference? No fingerprint sensor on the back. Now we got in-screen fingerprint sensor. All right, so let me pause the video. I'll drop my information in, then we'll breeze through the OS. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, y'all, so we back in. Now, I just put my information in the phone. I've been playing around with it for a few minutes. And I got to be honest with y'all, for 530 bucks, it's game over. All right, fresh out of the box, this phone is a major, major, major go. If you was getting ready to buy an iPhone XR or a Pixel 3 XL, I advise you to wait to the end of this video before you make your decision. Now, if you watch the live event, one of the new features with the OnePlus 6T is the on-screen fingerprint sensor. Now, OnePlus claims it's the fastest in the world. They made the same claim with the facial unlock, and they backed that up. So let's see if they can back this claim up, too. But before we try it out, here's the Mate RS. Now, if you look closely, on-screen fingerprint sensor works pretty fast. Now, it's not the most accurate in the world, but it does work. And it works fast. Now, so far, my favorite one has been on the Vivo Next S. You see that animation? Now, again, not the most accurate in the world, but it was pretty fast. Let's try that one more time. Okay, so here we go. One plus 6T. You see that little on -fing -fing uh, fingerprint sensor? Here we go. So far, I want to say it's the fastest. Let's do a few more tests. All right, let me let's do this the right way. Yep, 
yeah, so far I would say this is definitely the fastest and the most accurate. Now this is my first time doing this. Let's see if we can do a tap. All right, it's not really a tap style. You're gonna have to press it and hold it. Let's see. All right, <laughs> too many attempts. Now you do got your face unlocked. Let me unlock this real quick. Wrong pin. <laughs> I know, live video struggles. Okay, let's try this one more time. We're doing this together, y'all. Now, just like any other new technology, you're gonna find the, the sweet spot. And once you get the hang of it, I would definitely say this is the fastest. Now let's see for your clandestine activities, you at work, double tap. Okay, so that works. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to find the sweet spot. By the time I do the full review, we'll have this thing locked and loaded, but so far I'm loving it. Now check this out, if you don't wanna use your finger, you still got the fastest facial unlock in the game. You see that? You didn't even see lock screen. Check this out. That's a lock screen. Now look at it. Fastest face unlock in the game. That's guaranteed. As far as the on-screen fingerprint sensor, we're going to have to find the sweet spot. You see I did it good just now? Once I get the sweet spot, we're going to be rocking this. But I love that. That's so much better than having it on the back. Why? For your clandestine activities. Next, build quality. Beautiful. Now, so far, you only got mirror black and, uh, what is it, mirror black and the uh, piano black. I forgot the name of the other black. But basically, one is like a glass finish, and one kind of looks like this metal finish. One plus, if you watch this video, bring the white. This is the dopest phone right here. Now, if y'all never held the white one plus six, you need this. All right, this has that pearl finish on the back. I absolutely love this phone. I never put a case on it. Basically with the 6T, this one looks similar. All right, so build quality, A1 status, Zerks, you know good build quality when you see it. Shoes on, the, on deck. All right, let's try this one more time. There it is. Now, let's take it over to settings. <laughs> shoes, calm down, shoes, calm down. You got your basic toggles. <laughs> I know, I know. Let's go through the toggles real quick. Let's see, you got auto rotate. You got your screen cache, you got night shot, uh, night mode. Let's see locations, invert colors. Basically all your standard toggles. Let's go over the settings. <laughs> all right, we got a system update on deck. Let's see, uh, let's go to display. All right, so you got night mode, reading mode, screen calibration. Let's see, you got new modes now. So you got all uh, RGB, you got DCI-P3, adaptive and custom. I like to leave that plain. Now check this out. Notch display. Here's, let's hide the notch. You see the notch on the top? We're gonna hide the notch. All right, hold on a second. Right, Zerks, I might have to follow you to the side because you're doing the most right now. You're one of those cat cats. Check this out. You got notch display. I will right, we'll hide the notch. Now in order for you to see that better, let's change the, uh, <laughs> right back on deck. All right, let's change the, the theme. This, I want y'all to see this. All right, so we'll put this on light mode. All right, now check this out. This is no notch. If you notice, the time, all, all of my messages, everything is still on the top. Now we'll put the notch back up. This is why this is important. Now, if you've seen the Google Pixel 3 XL, everybody was like, oh, go to developer options and hide the notch. That's not really hiding the notch because basically what you're doing with the Pixel, when you get rid of the notch, you're moving everything down. So all you're doing is getting a big giant chin, all the information that's on the top moves down. When you hide the notch on this phone, you see how that information is still in the corner? All right, that 113 did not move. Only thing that moves is the background. That's how you hide the notch. All right, you don't bring everything down and get a big giant forehead, no. You just change the background. That's hot, hot, That's how you hide the notch. All right, shoes. All right, shoes, you're killing me. All right, let's see what else we got. I'm gonna leave, I know I could edit all this out, but y'all love shoes just as much as me. So we'll leave that in. 
Shout out to the white shoes. All right, so you got your themes, you got your accent colors, display size, status bar. Let's see, we got battery style. We'll leave it in the circle. All right, that changed that up. Display network speed, why not? Icon manager, change those if you want. Let's see, you got auto rotate and you got your screen savers. Let's see, anything else do we need to look at? All right, buttons and gestures. All right, alert slider, change that if you want. Let's see, uh, navigation. Now you can change your back button to the left or the right, or you can use these iPhone style uh, swipe gestures. Now personally, I don't like those. All right? I like them on the iPhones, I don't like them on the Android phones. I'm just gonna leave it with back, recently used apps, and my home button in the middle. All right, I gotta file shoes one more time. Shoes, I gotta file you one more time because you're doing the most, rah. All right, <laughs> let's see, you got your quick gestures. All right, so you got flip to mute, three finger screenshots, answer calls by gestures, double tap to wake, leave that on, music controls, I right, draw a circle to open the camera, draw a V for the flashlight. So basically while the phone is off, draw the letter V, that turns the flashlight on, draw the letter V, turns it off. Now one thing I wanted to mention, no always on display. This is the ambient display. So when your phone is like this, the display turns off. Once you pick it up, you're gonna get that display. So that's your time, the date, there's your battery percentage, and you do have some notifications. Now, if you notice, to this day, I still haven't updated my OnePlus 6 from the stock OS. I don't even remember which one it is, but this one still has always on display. That's why I'm not updating this one. I'm just gonna leave it as is. All right, on-screen fingerprint sensor, bang. All right, so you can draw your letters, different functions. You got, let's see, uh, quick turn to turn on the camera. Uh-oh, you know what that means. World star button. Bang, just like that. Let's open that up. Just like that. All right, we'll take it over the camera in a minute. All right, there's all your recently used apps. Let's see, do we got a clear roll? We got to play with that. Maybe not. Let's see, anything else? Battery, storage, lock screen and security, utilities, blah, blah, blah. If there's anything specific y'all want to see, let me know when I do the full review, and we'll get into that. Let's take a look at the camera. All right, so you got video, photo, portrait mode, and night mode. All right, now they calling this night shot mode. All right, is that, did I say that right? Yeah, night shot mode. Basically, what that's going to do is give you better pictures at night. So I can't test that in here, but we'll test it outside. Let's check the portrait mode. Let's do a quick shot. Let's see, can we edit this out now? Let's go to gallery. Okay, yeah, so now we can edit this up. You can add more blur if you want. All your Instagram filters and shadows. I like that. But let's do a quick point and shoot. Let's just see, point and shoot, no portrait mode. It's a regular point and shoot shot. Beautiful. Beautiful camera. Now, one of the things I do gotta mention about the iPhone XR, the portrait mode is pretty whack. You know why? Because it only works on people. That, now, 750 bucks for that phone, that's trash, all right? Portrait mode, now y'all know, most of my portraits are of my cat, of the car, Hennessy bottles on the table. I like having regular portrait mode. You can't do that on the iPhone XR, and that's 750 bucks. This phone right here, on-screen fingerprint sensor, Facial unlock, dual cameras, yo, 128 gigs worth of storage, six gigs of RAM. You're talking about 550 bucks. Everybody was making fun of OnePlus for changing their launch event because Apple's event is tomorrow. Guess who's getting the last laugh? All right, this OnePlus is killing the game right now. Let's see, do we need to check anything else with the camera? I don't want to turn this into a full review, but y'all know how I do. Uh, let's see, can we go to settings? I haven't used my OnePlus in a minute. How do I get the settings? All right, here we go. <laughs> All right, so you got your portrait mode, time lapse, pro mode. Pro mode. Google Pixel 3 XL, no pro mode. A thousand bucks, 550 bucks, pro mode. And night shot. Pixel 3 XL, no night mode just yet. Now, again, this is another thing now. The guy said it at the OnePlus launch event today. 
Why bring out a phone and charge a thousand bucks and you got features that's quote unquote coming soon, coming soon. Let me show you. Now I know I got to turn this into a quick rant, but I'm trying to save y'all some money. If you notice on my Pixel 3 XL, you see two cameras. Let's open up the first camera, right? Let's go to more. Here's all your, here's all your choices. Settings, lens, playground, photos, for slow motion, photo booth. Where's the night mode at? Now you can download a hackable camera. Let's go to more. And now you got night mode. Okay, that's cool. Coming soon. I already spent a thousand bucks. I want that feature now. All right. I don't like when phones come out with coming soon features. No. One plus 60, 500 bucks. All of the features already embedded into the phone. There's your night shot. There's your pro mode. All right, let's hit pro mode, just in case y'all don't know what that is. Change the white balance, the ISO, all this fancy stuff that y'all don't even know what it does. It doesn't matter, you don't need to know what it does. The point is, you could do it if you want. All right, now I might never I might never use it, but y'all know my model. I'd rather have it and not need it, than need it and not have it. Let's see anything else. All right, here's your, uh, <laughs> I know, I'm ranting. Here's your dashboard. Now, if you ever had a OnePlus 6 or, or, or basically any OnePlus phone, there's one thing that we don't have to talk about, and that's lag. We don't have to talk about lag because this phone is never going to lag. The latest and greatest processor and GPU. You got boost mode for your gaming. We'll get into that when I do the full review. Oh, one thing real quick. Let's check the speakers and the display. All right, so I just pulled up one of my old Street Fighter streams. Let's check the speakers and the display. All right, here we go. Me versus uh, my man, uh, NATO. I'm Ryu, he's Ken. Oh, check this out, this might be it. This might be it. Watch this here. Look at the epic trolling on Street Fighter. This was epic. This was an epic stream that night. Shout out to NATO. <laughs> he got tired of it. He got tired of it. That was fun, though. That was fun. Anyway, the speakers sound nice and loud. The display is great. Let's see, did I catch this W or did I take an L after all that trolling? I just need to see this for a second. Did I win or did I lose? Oh, I might have got bodied. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, this is a guaranteed W. Okay, yeah. All right. All right. Shout out to NATO. Anyway, the display and the speakers, excellent. All right, so let's check out some of these accessories. All right, so first, let's take a look at the USB Type-C headphones. Right. See what these is all about. I believe these are going to run you 20 to 30 bucks. Okay, never settle. I like that. Right. Plug them and follow. And one sticker. So basically, these are just some USB Type-C headphones. Now, I'll do a full review on these. No, I won't. I'll wait till I do the full video. And I'll let y'all know how these sound. But for 20 to 30 bucks, they should be alright. And shoes back in the building. Shoes is in epic troll mode today. All right, shoes, play with those. All right, so let's get into some cases real quick. First up, we got the Sandstone. All right, now this is a OnePlus Classic right here. Sandstone case. Has that sandpaper feel to it. Real nice. Little OnePlus insignia. Slap this one on. Now in this case, there's no razivity, so this is not a slam boy case, but it has a nice feel to it. You hear that? That sandpaper feel. I like that. All right, so that's the sandstone. Classic OnePlus status. Next up, now on the down low, this has slowly become one of my favorite cases, the nylon style. Check this one out. Has that nylonish kind of sneaker feel to it on the inside. Look at that. Kind of feels like Alcantara. 
This is full protection. Slap this one on. Look at that razivity. All right, so this one is Slam Boy certified. Stop flinching shoes. Check the power button. <laughs> Little drop test. There's your power button. On screen fingerprint sensor. I love that. This is dope. Big one plus branding. And of course, we got my favorite case. The red. Now this is that red red. Right? Y'all remember this case. Look at this. Has a soft silicone-ish kind of feel to it. Same Alcantara on the inside. Bottom is kind of open. Razivity on deck, all your cutouts. But again, just that red red. Beautiful. This is my new favorite case right here. We'll see if they got the carbon fiber on deck for this one. We'll check that out when we do the full review. Slam board certified. One plus insignia in red. All right, I'm definitely feeling that. Overall, fresh out of the box. Let's do that face unlock. Look at that. Fastest in the game. Fresh out of the box, like I said, on a scale of one to 10, I'm giving this a major, major, major go. All right, we got some innovation with that on-screen fingerprint sensor. No ugly notch. Latest and greatest Snapdragon processor and GPU. Ain't really too much to complain about, but y'all know I'll find some stuff when I do the full video. Now, if there's anything specific y'all want me to cover, hit me up in the comments and we'll cover it. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google+. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Boxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time, 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know, stream gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready, no meat boys allowed. Oh yeah, special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat, Flossy underscore Carter, that's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad. I see y'all in the comment section early. Hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing. I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes and picture me rolling. It's your boy Floss and Mouth. Deuces. Spock won the beam up. Energize.